Look at that. You wouldn't think anything could grow on that, would you? And unfortunately, that's what happens. People come to me and they say, what media should I use? And I tell them, three quarter inch gravel. But they leave here and they think, silly old cow, nothing will grow on that. So they go off and they get sand, or they get five millimeter gravel, or they get some other diabolical mixture that they think will go well. What happens is, six months later they're on the phone saying, there's something wrong with my aquaponics system. My plants are all dying. It, the water's not flowing properly. It's all clogged up. Of course it's all clogged up. We have to have a system that operates on zones. Just simply to the, where the water comes into the grow bed, I just simply throw the line there and just mix it in with the stone. Behind me here, I've got a classic hydroponic greenhouse that's been running successfully for a number of years, and they've decided to change over to aquaponics. Why? I'll explain that to you one thing at a time. This is the beautiful part about floating raft systems. It's really very easy to remove the plant, because remember, the roots of the plants are totally immersed in water in this system. To swirl filter or not to swirl filter, it's a question that's often asked. When do we need to add pre-filters to our aquaponic systems? And all of a sudden you'll find that the auto siphon's not working properly again. You think, my goodness, what's wrong? So people go and they start fiddling with the auto siphon. They think, oh, maybe I've got to cut this. Maybe I've got to make it longer. Just like you'd find in that mountain waterfall with the beautiful little lake below and the lovely fish growing in a beautiful, pristine condition, we're doing exactly the same thing at home here in our own backyard.